What is up guys and gals and welcome back to a brand new edition and a brand new episode of the Bill Doctor Division 2 series. I am Relentless and today we will be going over some suggestions, some ideas to help bring balance and a little bit more fun back to the game. As you all know, I left uh, the game for about seven and a half to eight months due to health reasons, multiple series, uh, surgeries, penis reduction, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and it was in a rough, you know, spot when I uh, came back. And we're specifically talking about PvP. And then when now that I've returned, now it's just like a complete dumpster fire. And there's several reasons for this. One is, you know, devs out there, I, I do appreciate you, and this game does have a lot of untapped potential. But it seems there has been a lack of attention, the lack of care, uh, and the lack of balancing uh, that has actually taken place in the game. Lack of implementation of balancing and it just seems like and I'm speaking for the community here for at least those that I I you know play with on the regular basis and my channel's community that um yeah we we are getting frustrated because of the lack of balancing the lack of build diversity and you basically see the same build 95% of the time is some kind of combination between two talents one weapon at uh, one weapon and particularly one skill now these suggestions, uh, first and foremost, before we get into that, um, please ground and pound that like button. If you happen to be new to the channel, then ground and pound that sub button. And also don't forget to reach up there, trigger the bell, and turn on post notifications. So that way you never miss a live stream or a video that is uploaded. So first and foremost, let's hop right into this discussion. And I want to hear your guys and gals feedback in the comment section below. Now, when it comes to the contractor gloves, Fox's knee prayer, it's it's no surprise that this is the best in slot. Uh, no matter what archetype weapon you're using, SMGs, LMGs, rifles, marksman rifles, uh, assault rifles, it doesn't matter. These two are the best in slot. And it makes the rest of the brand set between Petrov and Overlord obsolete because the damage to armor and the damage to targets out of cover are just a lot stronger than even the crit damage uh, and accumulation. I see a lot of people running the uh, green generic knee patch just for that extra mod slot for that 12% extra crit damage. And that may be all well and fine, you know, it's something different, but that 8% damage to targets out of cover is just way much stronger than just 12% critical hit damage. So for those of you that are running the generic knee pads, keep that in mind. But this is in correlation of the overall um, balancing and diversity of the division. These two things need to change. Now, LMGs are basically the underdog. Not too many people run LMGs other than the Pestilence, and all the other LMGs are pretty much just left in the tool shed collecting dust. Now, they can change this um, by changing the one, two, and three piece uh, bonuses of this brand set. Instead of weapon handling, you can give like a 20% reload speed and then put the 8% damage to armor in the third piece uh, bonus slot. But I know, I know what some of you are thinking. No, no, Verlinus, I, I enjoy using that and getting that 8% damage. There's so much armor regen out there and tank builds. We actually need that. Don't worry, that is just one suggestion and one example. The other example is take this damage to armor, the damage to targets out of cover, and even uh, the yaw gear from back in the day. I don't think I have any, any yaw gear piece in uh, my inventory right now, but as you will remember, that once was a large chunk of hazard protection that you could get on a yaw gear mask. If they take that and even added explosive resistance in a big chunk and put these all in not necessarily a brand set, but in pieces, name pieces all to themselves, that you could use them, but there would not be a one, two, and three piece bonus uh, for such as, you know, one piece of Petrop, you're getting the LMG damage, plus the damage the targets had to cover the 8% as an attribute. Let's just name, keep them name pieces and put them in a category by themselves. So that way there is a sacrifice for a reward because that's what this game is supposed to be. If you want higher damage, then you sacrifice toughness in most cases. If you want higher skill power, stronger skills, 
then there is a sacrifice to weapon damage and armor, and so on and so forth. And right now, that is what this game is lacking. There's not any sacrifice in order to gain something else. Basically, you see 95% uh, of the population in the Dark Zone all running shields, because they are shield-dependent and Lady Death reliant. And I know before you even comment, the salty players that use these, that are dependent on these, that can't seem to PvP without them, feel free to leave your salty tears in the comment section below. I'm just being honest here and looking at the overall prospect or aspect of the game as a whole and looking for build diversity. Because right now, there's really not any. Most of the time, you'll see different combinations, but more or less, you'll see the Lady Death here, the Crusader Shield here, the Petrov Gloves, Fox's Knee Prayer, and usually Intimidate and Adrenaline Rush. 90 to 95% of the time. The rest you'll see like mortar turrets or hazard builds, things of this nature. And if we are being completely honest with ourselves, yes, you can make a full has build. Um, and rightfully so, that is a counter and running a jammer pulse. And that way, that build, you're having to sacrifice something in order to gain something. But on the flip side of the coin, if you're using all these combination of things, what are they really sacrificing? And especially if they're in a four-man group, you got one guy running a somewhat semi-skill build with a mortar turret and a shrapnel trap. That is, shrapnel trap is completely OP at the moment. That definitely needs tweaking and balancing. Uh, you got one guy there, and the other three are running their shields, armor regen, lady death, adrenal adrenaline rush, and intimidate. What build diversity is there? Well, what do we switch to? Yes, some can run the jammer pulse, but in order to be competitive, basically everybody has to pretty much wear the same thing to try to compete. Yes, one can put on a sniper build, try to sit far back, hit one, pop one here and there. Um, but, you know, those type builds are... There's not enough of them, put it that way. There's not enough build diversity in the game. Now, that is just one... Of a, well, actually, one of many examples how to tweak it, and by any means, is this the correct and right path to take? I don't know, but it at least is a suggestion and would actually promote build diversity. Taking all these damage to targets out of cover, damage to armor, the hazard protection chunk that we used to get on the Yagir, and then add explosive resistance in there, and make them their own set of themselves named items but don't give them a one, two, and three piece bonus like we have on our brand sets and our gear sets. That way you're giving up something in order to gain something. You're giving up, say, you know, one piece of uh, Grupo, you're giving up that 15% create damage, or, you know, you're giving up, you know, extra armor by the 5% from Gila Guard, or whatever, but at least you're having to use just one piece of Petrov somewhere if you're going to have an LMG build and you're having to have one piece of Overlord anywhere other than these slots just for the 8% to damage to targets out of cover and for an, a, uh, a rifle build. So that way it promotes build diversity, there's different combinations you can come up with. It would bring a lot, a lot of change, a lot more diversity, and that's just one step. The next, most skills are dependent on their skill tier, their yellow Lego. Now, there's only one skill that is relied on the blue Lego, and that is the shield. Now, in my opinion, the shield needs uh, some adjusting. Instead of like relying on uh, the blue Legos, um, they should have like a limit on it, no more than two. And then, if you want, you know, stronger shield health, holster regen, deflector damage, active regen you have to go with skill tier. So that way there, people can't run a six Lego, blue Lego tank build, throw on a shield, and then have a shotgun still hitting for over a million in damage. We'll talk about weapons here in a minute. Uh, that's just a suggestion. Uh, you could go so far as make it the shield totally dependent on the yellow Lego skill tier, but I think there would probably be a lot more uproar in the community as far as, you know, having to be an actual skill build to actually use a shield. But there is, you know, a give and take, a uh, sacrifice in order to be reward. They can adjust the values and make the shield even stronger. Like if you're a skill tier, you know, five or six or even four than what it currently is now uh, on the level of four blues, you know, to have a less uh, weaker shield. So, you're, you know, if you switch to yellows, you could have a stronger shield. You know, there's, there's something that can be done there, so that way you don't 
have everybody and their grandma only running shields because that is the best thing to actually use when trying to PvP in the Dark Zone. Now on to weapons. Um, the Nemesis, you can have six blues and run the Nemesis and still one tap. You can have six blues uh, and be tank builds and still hit for over a million with a shotgun. Uh, you can run a tank build, a shield, and the Lady Death and you're still super strong just by the damage you get from the Lady Death and then if you proc uh, Intimidate on top of that you're still doing tons of damage without any sacrifice. And if we're totally honest with ourselves then we know in the back of our minds that we know there needs to be some adjustment and I hate the n-word but yes there needs to be a nerf. You know slightly um, because there is no sacrifice versus the reward because it's not the individual things themselves it's all the accumulation of things you can add together that makes it totally OP and there is no build diversity. If you're running an SMG 9.5 times out of 10 you're gonna be using the Lady Death. It's no more about strafing, it's about, you know, zigzag ice skating in order to get that damage with the Lady Death and then whip out a shield and, you know, your balls deep into shield dependence and Lady Death Reliance. And there's going to be sweaty try-hard bots in my comments section, oh, you just don't know how to PvP and handle shields and, and Lady Death. It's not about that, it's about the overall aspect. So, you know, pipe down, salty bot boy and girl. You know, you leave your comments and your saltiness uh, uh, in somebody else's comment section. We're talking about build diversity and being honest as far as promoting that and having a atmosphere in PvP that is more diverse and is actually flourishing with a lot more different builds and everybody running the same busted thing, knowing in the back of their minds it's busted but using it anyways just to compete uh, and actually stay afloat and be competition with others in the dark zone because basically everybody's running the same thing now when it comes to skills the shrapnel trap does need adjusting or like i stated earlier if we had um the explosive resistance a big chunk and all that you know damage the targets out of cover etc etc all on the name gear pieces outside of the branch that it's currently on then we could actually have a has and an explosive you know resistant build by using those things and still, you know, be diverse and come up with, you know, uh, make it more of a chess match or paper, uh, paper, rock, scissors versus the checkers uh, match that we're having now in the dark zone. Because let's just face it, there's, there's more frustration and a lot less fun now because it's basically a dumpster fire. Now, keep in mind, there's, these are just some suggestions and I'm just trying to promote a healthier game and a more stable game where there's more fun and a lot less frustration. The PBE side... Um, is all right. Uh, I'm, I'm not too much of a PvE -er, but the PvP aspect of it is a complete dumpster fire crap fest. Um, there's skills that don't work. Um, the servers constantly lag. There's still glitches in it. Um, there's still invisible walls, stuff you get hung on. I mean, there's just, I can go on and on and on. I just want an overall better and healthier and more fun you know dark zone with more build diversity than what we have here it's mostly cut and paste what somebody says is OP or the meta or super strong on YouTube and that's what everybody runs it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't be you know complicated to actually put together a build but it's actually not complicated people are just you know see and do well Tommy done this so I'm gonna do it too because it because I you know it, it's super strong and it's the best in slot out there there's always gonna be a meta the metas are gonna always change but at least there can be a more balance in the meta when it comes to multiple different builds than than what we currently have. I'd rather go back to the 3.11 7 days or the best balance that there was was the beta of the game. That was a lot more fun and it was a lot more balanced than what we have now. Skills, certain skills are just super OP and it's very difficult uh, per se in a way to actually spec into complete hazard protection and explosive resistance and then still be competitive with other you know of the meta that's currently in the dark zone you know you put yourself at a disadvantage like I stated earlier you know it should be a rock paper scissors everything should have a counter and also everything should have to have a sacrifice in order to gain something and that is what we're lacking right now um, like I said, let me know your, your feedback, your comments in the comment section below. Devs, um, I ask you to give some attention, to really put some thought and emphasis. And, you know, just take my examples and, you know, make it your own, but do something. 
I mean, something has to be done. There needs to be a change. And honestly, if these pieces, as far as the contractor's gloves and the fox's prayer for that damage to targets out of cover, damage to armor, uh, explosive resistance, a chunk of it, and also has protection, if that was its own little uh, gear set, that uh, named gear set per se, that had no one, two, and three piece bonuses other than, you know, the damaged armor, the core attribute, and a minor attribute, there would be more build diversity because you wouldn't see the constant same setup, pet shop gloves, Fox's new prayer, intimidate, adrenaline rush, or trauma, adrenaline rush, and the lady death, and a shield, and of course a decoy. Because basically that's all that you see in the dark zone right now. It's not really any fun. There's really no thought to it. It's just more or less cut, cut and paste. And just, you know, go with the flow and do what everybody else is doing. Just to, you know, be, be competitive and actually have fun in the dark zone. Um, it's just not any fun. You know, going in and having, you know, eight other people in the group that you're, you know, facing or whatever. All without shields and decoys and all have Lady Deaths on. And some has, you know, the nemesis as a secondary um, instead of the Lady Death. And, you know, they can run it with any build they want to. And you can still one-tap with the nemesis. Or, you know, tank builds with shotguns that's still hitting for over a million with no weapon damage specced into whatsoever. Um, just help get some balance and some build diversity back into the game. You know, tweak it. But I really think if this was its own little set, um, that it would solve a lot of the issues and problems. Um, there would be a lot of sacrifices in order to, you know, get back. And also, <clears throat> um, my I should, before I go any further, the pestilence needs to be changed back to the way it was. And here's my reason. It would also help out because we have multiple ways of getting armor regen. And if you throw in a healer in the mix with the current meta, you know, it's not really any fun. It, it's, it's more of the same. But the pestilence in its previous state, the way it originally was cut healing in half and you can make it to where it cuts armor region in half and still bring back the the mist of piss so that way those that are dancing around um and like a healer with their armor region it would help combat that would it necessarily kill them the mist of piss no but you know well, along with the um cut in half of their healing and armor region it would make it to where you couldn't bunch up and then have someone sitting in the back with a turret and then have a healer hive that their group is actually standing in uh, and there's no splash damage and no consequences or drawback if you happen to shoot a, a mortar into your own group. So, you know, you're basically just putting it out there marching on forward, hitting your own teammates, but at the same time hitting the, the other group because you have to get in close to, you know, proc adrenaline rush to get the intimidate and then of course with the lady death and there's actually no drawback and it's really not any fun. It's just the same old, same old. So that is another aspect uh, in also implementing a little change and tweak to the game. I mean, you have made tweaks and changes to the game, but it hasn't necessarily been to the negative. It just hasn't really been balanced. So none of the new things that came in with the last two updates were bad. It just wasn't balanced when it actually came into. Things need to be changed, adjusted. I know COVID in 2020 was a crap show. But other games, other developers made time to actually find balance and change and fix their games and have maintenance. So I feel that, you know, you guys and gals should have too. So I don't look at, look at that as a reason or I just look at it as, a, as an excuse. But please fix the game, implement some changes, bring balance and more build diversity to the game. So that way there's more fun, there's more build diversity, and bring the community back because there's a lot of people that left because of the current state of the way it's in. I thought it would be better when I would come back, but no, it's ten times worse than before I left. But thank you guys and gals so much for tuning in. Appreciate all the love and support. Don't forget to uh, leave your feedback, your comments in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys fudging later.